Hey, many fish. It's the 1st of February, 2018. And yep, back on this crash. Can't help it. But, you know, this is what I started with because this is kind of uh, interesting, to say the least. Our missile defense system apparently doesn't work very well. The U.S. missile defense system fails latest test. And this is the second test it's failed. Uh, in the last, I don't know, since June, I guess. Also failed in June. Of course, I'll link everything. But that's real comforting, you know, to come out today. Uh, <laughs> anyway, but the, uh, the, the train wreck. Uh, the Amtrak. Just, I opened this article and I'm thinking, eh, there's nothing new. They're not giving us anything new, right? And I see the Amtrak. And yes, it comes into my mind. Throw that into the Gematria. 222 Jewish Gematria. Which is a very interesting number because I've actually done videos on 22. And it has a wide range of meanings. But I want to know the biblical meaning. Like, where does it really fit in the Bible? And the best, most perfect fit that I could find is the book of Ecclesiastes. And boy, oh boy, isn't this just the perfect fit. Because not only does Ecclesiastes have 222 verses, okay, which is the number of division, therefore, 222 indicates great division, okay? The second day, the firmament was created to divide between heaven and earth, okay? Ecclesiastes is a book of division. Essentially, it's got 12 chapters. Six of them are dedicated to the division. It's divided into two equal parts. A picture of separation between God and man that marks the book. And this is what we're seeing. We're seeing the separation between God and man happening, manifesting all around us. You know, those are choosing to stay and worship the flesh and not turn to Jesus, you know, not seek the Spirit of God. You know, these. this is the division. Look at the House of Representatives of there, man. I mean, you want to talk about a house divided? It will not stand. You know, this is a perfect example. The first six chapters provide conclusively the vanity of all things under the sun. It's an illusion. It's all for naught. You need to be born again in the Spirit of Christ. The second six chapters point to the importance of heaven, heavenly wisdom in the midst of earthly vanity. What, what we do here, you know, to make this uh, little stay here in these bodies and in this leavened world uh, more joyous. Because, you know, you can do works that are fulfilling to the soul, you know, rather than trying to, you know, get the biggest house and all that stuff. I mean, it's just, you can have all that stuff. There's nothing wrong with it. But, you know, if you're living for the flesh, if you're thinking that things and stuff and money are going to get you anything, well, let me tell you something. The day is coming where uh, <laughs> it's all done. And what then? You know, you got to ask yourself these questions. And uh, it's funny because I came across this other article here. Check this out. This is just completely off the hook. Another new show coming out on Netflix called Altered Carbon. And this, this, this answers the questions, okay? This, this, the world will give you the answer you want when it comes to when you die, right? Because according to this and according to the world, because this is what they're going to convince people of is that when you die, you could be born again in a new body, any kind of body you want. See? And, and they are literally, literally creating this very technology. And yeah, you think that's going to give you actual life? You're out of your mind. These long-living elites are nicknamed meths. Guess what that stands for? Methuselah who lived to 969 years. Now, isn't that just interesting? 222 Amtrak. <laughs> Crazy, man. 
And I had to, I had to throw in the uh, the green briar too, just to see what it was. And this is very interesting, folks. Three thirteen. When you get us, when you get sets of numbers like this, in their world, and I have to keep explaining this. I don't believe in this stuff. I don't live by this stuff. These people do. The Jews who say they are Jews but are not, but do lie. Synagogue of Satan. This is their little, uh, I don't know, communication device. It, uh, it's just the way they operate. And that's the world. 222 two, two right there. I'm telling you, this is how they operate. And when stuff like this comes up, yay, I pay attention. Amtrak, 222. Two, two. The division. Great division. It's on. And the world's going to lie to you and say you can have a new body, any kind you want. Mm-hmm. No such thing as judgment. They think they're going to divert around judgment and live in their little sleeves, their little flesh prisons. U.S. Missile Defense fails again. I thought that was uh, worth mentioning all on its own. But throw in the rest of the stuff because it's interesting. You know what I mean? And it all relates. Everything's connected, folks. Don't underestimate anything. But you must, must, must take it to prayer and use great discernment. Look at the words that this mess is, matches up with. This is just crazy. They're at the Greenbrier, Trump, the, the deal maker. And one of the matches is end times deal 313-666-111. That's crazy. <laughs> Oh man, it's an it's an energy, folks. It's a spirit that's working through the flesh, and it's all through the temptations of this world, the vanities of this world. All things under the sun are vanity. Flip the switch. Seek Jesus. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren. Be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 